in Excel, you sometimes need to pull information or pieces of information from another cell. Here we have a pay date that came from a different computer system and it combines year, month, and day. We would like to pull from that the year, which is the first four digits, and the month, which is the next two, and then the two digit day. To do that, we can use three different functions in Excel that let us pull strings from another cell. For the year, we want to pull the four characters from the left. So if I type in equal sign and left, L-E-F-T, open bracket, the first thing it asks for is the text where I want to pull this string from. So I'll click on the date cell, then a comma, and the number of characters. So starting from the left, I want the first four characters. So I'll type a four, a closing bracket, and press enter. And that pulls the year from this cell. For the month, I'll do that in a second. We're going to use a slightly different formula. For the day, very similar to the year where we used left, for the day we could use right to pull the two characters that are at the right of this string. So equal R-I-G-H-T open bracket and it's the same structure as the left function. So we're going to click on the cell where the text is, comma, and the number of characters here, we want only two characters, so I'll type a two, close the bracket, and press enter. So we have the year and the day. For the month, we'll do something slightly different. We can't just pick characters from the left or right here. We want something in the middle of this cell. For that, we're going to use the mid function. So an equal sign, M-I-D, and an open bracket. So again, starting just like the others, we're going to click on the cell where the text is. So there's the text we want it to look at. The starting number is in this cell, where should it start selecting text? So. Here's the month, so we want to go to character one, two, three, four, five. So the month starts at the fifth character, so we'll type a five. And then the number of characters we want to pull into this cell, there's two characters in the month, so we'll type a two and close the bracket and press enter. So now that I have those three formulas in the top row, I can select all three cells, point to the fill handle, and double click to fill it down.